snoring. Nearly half of all men do it, and up to 30% of women. But why do we do it? And how can you make it stop? Maintenance. Snoring is that harsh sound caused by vibrating tissues in your throat as air flows past them when you breathe. Every snore is different, but when it comes to volume, they typically fall somewhere between 40 and 90 decibels. And to give you some reference, a vacuum cleaner hits about 70 decibels, and a chainsaw hits 100. Yikes. So how do snoring happen? Well, when you're asleep, your body is relaxed. So muscle tone throughout your body decreases, including your upper airway muscles. And relaxation in there can limit the size of the airway space and cause some airflow turbulence. It's this combination of turbulent breath and limited space that creates that attractive snoring sound. And snoring can be the result of any number of things, including sleeping with a clenched jaw or a stuffy nose. Or it could be a symptom of obstructive sleep apnea, which is a potentially dangerous disorder characterized by breathing that repeatedly starts and stops while sleeping. But one of its most noticeable signs is loud snoring. Obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, is when those muscles at the back of your throat relax too much and prevent normal breathing. This can decrease your oxygen intake and cause a buildup of carbon dioxide. Your brain will sense this impairment and rouse you awake to reopen your airway. And this can happen several times throughout the night, without the sufferer even realizing they've woken up. Now, of course, not everyone who snores has obstructive sleep apnea. But if your snoring is accompanied by things like excessive daytime sleepiness or difficulty concentrating, morning headaches, gasping at night, or a sleeping partner who's had enough, then it might be worth going to a doctor to see if it's OSA. And while nearly everyone will snore at some point in their lives, it seems like older people do it more. Well, that's because we do snore more as we get older, since our muscles become increasingly flabby and loose. So, how the heck can you prevent snoring if you're unlucky enough to do it? Or the even unluckier person who has to sleep next to a snorer? Lifestyle changes like losing weight or avoiding alcohol close to bedtime can help, as can certain medical devices. For instance, those little strips some people put on their nose. These are actually called external nasal dilators, and they basically act as a spring that pulls your nostrils open to prevent collapse and increase airflow. But those really only work if the snoring is caused by nasal congestion, like when you have a cold or allergies. Sometimes people opt for surgery, of which there are many different kinds that purportedly help prevent snoring. These include certain nasal surgeries to remove blockages and soft palate surgery, which stiffens the soft palate to limit the vibrations that cause snoring. But everyone's snoring situation is a little different. In the meantime, does anyone have any tips for sleeping with a snorer? Please? Nameless.